In this video, we're going to do a mixture problem with prices, where we know more about the final solution than the starting solutions. In a candy shop, chocolate, which sells for $4 a pound, is being mixed with nuts, which sold for $2.50 a pound, to form a chocolate nut candy, which sells for $3.50 a pound. How much of each are used to make 30 pounds of the mixture? When we're mixing, we like to organize our information in our tic-tac-toe table that's got an extra row for the final solution. And we take the amount times the part, or price, to equal the total amount invested in each type of candy. We see that we have chocolate, which sells for $4 a pound. We don't know the amount of chocolate, so we'll call it C, but we do know the price on it is $4 per pound. It's being mixed with nuts, sold for $2.50 a pound. We don't know the amount of the nuts, so we'll call them N, but we do know the price on it is 2.5 or 2.50. To form a chocolate nut candy, which sells for $3.50 a pound, the final solution should be $3.50 or 3.5. We are also told we want 30 pounds of this final solution. Once the part column, or the price column, is filled in, I always check to make sure that 3.5 is between the other two parts. 3.5 is between 2.5 and 4, so I know I've got my table set up correctly. To fill in the total column, we simply multiply C times 4 to get 4C, for the amount invested in chocolate. N times 2.5, or 2.5N, is the amount invested in nuts. And 30 times 3.5 is 105, is the total amount of the investments. Because we have two variables, we need two equations, which can come from the first column, showing the amount of chocolate plus the amount of nuts is equal to 30 pounds. And the last column, which shows that our investments of 4C plus 2.5N, is equal to our total investment of 105. We now have a system of equations with two variables, which we can solve quickly by getting opposites in front of N, multiplying by negative 2.5. And the first equation becomes negative 2.5C minus 2.5N, equals negative 75. The second equation, 4C plus 2.5N, equals 105. We now have the opposites we want in front of the N, so we end up with 1.5C equals 30. Finally, to get the C alone, we simply have to divide both sides by 1.5, and we have C, or the amount of chocolate, is equal to 20. We still need to find the amount of nuts, and we can go back to the original equation, C plus N, or 20 plus N equals 30, and subtract 20 from both sides to find N is equal to 10. Clearly stating our answer, we have 20 pounds of chocolate and 10 pounds of nuts. We have our solution, which we found by organizing our mixture table, multiplying the amount times the part to equal the total. We get our two equations from the first and last columns.